On today's video, you guys definitely want to know about Lost Canyon before it starts because trust me when I tell you, you do not want to be late to the party. This one, the early bird will definitely get the warm and there are plenty of rewards for those of you who will tough it out. Lost Canyon, everything you need to know about this event ahead of time to get ready and get ready to rumble because it's a long event with tons of rewards a lot of work and it might cost quite a lot of gems you really want to make sure you know everything about it right now and this video is everything about this event so sit back enjoy the video slap a like on it Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Gecko Gaming. As always, when there is an event you need to know about ahead of time, Gecko Gaming is where you wanna be. So make sure you're subscribing to the channel and turning on the bell for notifications because this event, you guys will thank me to know about ahead of time. It's a crucial event where you joining in as early as possible will benefit you tremendously. Here's the deal. Let's read through the rules. It's very important to understand these rules. I'll add more information to them, but you really need to know everything in here. The Lost Canyon unlocks only after the Lost Kingdom event begins. After the end of Lost Kingdom, Lost Canyon will end as well. This is an event that goes throughout your whole Lost Kingdom. Important to notice. Each governor will have five free challenge attempts per day. Purchasing attempts will cost gems and the maximum on these purchases is 20 times. Now, Lost Kingdom 135 have already gotten this event because they were in their Lost Kingdom when the update went live. And so I need to thank Jedi Mind, AFK47 Balyat, and Mr. DW Gray for the screenshots and information that I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, here is the deal. On top of you being able to buy 20 attempts with gems the cost for those those attempts is gonna increase it starts from 100 gems and it goes up as far as 300 gems that's the biggest amount i've heard but it probably goes up further than that so my understanding is that there are a few purchase attempts well a few attempts you can purchase for 100 and then 150 then 200 250 and 300 and maybe all the way up to 500. So by the time you're spending your 20 attempts, you might be spending a good boatload amount of gems. We're talking easily over 2,000 gems a day on attempts alone. Why are these attempts important? You'll understand in a moment. Governors can only challenge another governor who holds a higher ranking. If the challenger wins, the two of them will swap rankings. The canyon coins earned from the Lost Canyon can be kept and used during the new season. Commander levels, talent, and equipment will take effect in Lost Canyon. No other buff will take effect. Now, this is where we're gonna stop for a second and go back into what we know to be the uh, Sunset Canyon nowadays so you guys understand why this is so crucial. In the current version of what Sunset Canyon is, the way this works is you have your points that are based on whether you won or lost a fight and if you win a fight you gain points if you lose a fight you lose points and if someone tries to challenge you and you're victorious you still gain these stars points whatever you want to call them in here the way the rankings are set up are based on these stars which are essentially you could pretty much get someone to suicide into you lose consistently to you and give you stars for free. That case cannot happen in Lost Canyon. In the Lost Canyon, you swap positions with the person you beat. If you didn't beat them, nothing happens. Why is that so important? Because every attempt matters. If you miss and you lose and you don't get to swap up, you're essentially gonna have to spend gems for more attempts or up to five attempts to make your way up. Why going up is so important, you'll see in a moment, but let's go look at the next set of rules which are crucial for challenge rules. Each governor may deploy a maximum of five armies. The configuration of each army will be determined automatically. 
Governors must place their armies in one of eight squares. Each army will first attack the front row targets directly in front of them, following the back row targets directly in front of them. If there are no targets directly in front of them, the army will attack the closest target, kind of like the Sunset Canyon. Defeat all your opponent's troops in, within the specified time limit, very important stuff, to claim victory. So you don't have to necessarily lose. You can hold for as long as it takes and hold on to your spot. This means tanky marches might be crucial because as long as you can hold for long enough, you essentially will win. Neither side, If neither side has been eliminated by the end of the time limit, the side with the most remaining troops will be the winner. Which means, again, you don't have to defeat your opponent, you just have to last longer. That's a very, very important addition in here. Now, why is this so crucial? Because the way you earn points is based on your placement. Now, I'm scrolling through these images to show you guys and I completely forgot the order, I apologize. This right here is how you get coins in Lost Canyon based on your ranking. That is right, guys. For every hour or every minute you spend in a certain rank, you are going to accure more and more coins. This is crucial for you to understand because it means that you need to spend the most amount of time at the top best position you can get into. This means that if someone knocks you down a few, a few spots, you really have to be on your game to get back up or else you're gonna just lose a lot of coins. This also means when you go to sleep, it can be very, very problematic. And quite frankly, I love this. This will keep us on our toes throughout the whole Lost Kingdom at every hour and every minute because you really wanna make sure you maintain your position until everybody within the Lost Kingdom essentially runs out of tries during that day. The more you spend at the top, the more coins you accrue, and the more coins you accrue, the more rewards you can get. Let's take a quick peek at the rewards and you can see the Eternal Knight and Shio's Return Blueprint Fragments are available from the shop. They cost 7,500 coins a pop, which will take you seven and a half hours in first place to get. So just to give you a little bit of context on the math behind all this, at seven and a half hours per blueprint and <laughs> blueprint fragment, and you're gonna need 30 of those, you're gonna need to spend a whopping 225 hours in first place or nine days, 9.4 days in first place to guarantee yourself one of those full blueprints. Two of those double that time, which means Within a 37 day event, unless Lost Kingdom gets shortened even further, it is going to be very, very, very hard to get all the fragments you need to get those two pieces of equipment. You're really gonna want to be at the top as much as possible or as further up as you can because you really need those coins. As you can see, the person who sent me these screenshots have already accrued 43,000 coins. And let me tell you something, with 43,000 coins, this gentleman can unfortunately only get, let's take a quick peek, no, not that, sorry, it's 7,500, doing the math live, five fr fragments, that's it. And he's been doing this for about two weeks since the event came out. So he has been holding on to the middle area of the top rankings. I believe he's gaining 500, 600 coins per hour. And so you really want to be up there in order to potentially get full amounts of the fragments you need for the equipment alone. But of course, equipment is not the only thing available in here. You have a lot of material chests that you can get out of this thing, which I don't know if I'm a big fan of, but you can still get them here as well as a lot of Dazzling Starlight Sculptures, 20 of them. They're super expensive though. My first take is that all these rewards are ridiculously hard to get. They require too many coins for one reward and getting coins is not easy at all. Remember, there are eight kingdoms worth of people 
fighting it out for the top placements. And if you are in a top kingdom that has a lot of these big players, the likelihood of you ending up top 100, top 200, top 500 is very, very low. So you really want to make sure that as soon as that Lost Kingdom ent begins, you get in there and get into a top placement the quickest possible way and do not let anyone else take that spot away from you. But even if you're the first person in and you're number one, you will definitely know that you're not gonna hold for long unless you're one of these bigger, bigger players that has all the commanders. People are gonna come in and take your place really, really quickly. Try to get in as quickly as possible. Trust me, you need to get these coins. The more, the better. Now, on top of being part of having the ranking system, the regular one where you get coins for rewards. You also have the final rewards out of this as someone who ends up on some of these top positions. The rewards don't seem that juicy to me, quite frankly, a hundred hours worth of training speed ups, uh, about a, what, what would that be? 10 million eight, uh, XP, 150 million food and wood doesn't really seem like a big amount of rewards. I feel like Lost Canyon can already get a small adjustment. And if you guys believe that, let Lilith know in their Discord. Make sure to add a suggestion and let them know these rewards are either too low or the prices of rewards are too high. Let them know already. So maybe by the time the next set of Lost Kingdom start, they already adjust this. My personal take is that 25,000 coins for a elite equipment material is a joke that's 25 hours that's a full day in first place and two to three days below that and i doubt people will get more than i don't know 50 60 70 000 tops coins at the most except for the top few that will be up there for a while and will be spending the gems continually is this event worth it as far as I'm concerned, it's super worth it and it's super fun, but it's going to require boatloads of gems, which I don't know whether they're worth the rewards, as well as they're gonna require you to stay on your toes and use your free attempts correctly. You don't wanna blast them early on and run out of free attempts throughout the day, but you also don't want to let yourself go down too far without using those free tries to keep yourself within a range that you wanna be in. I think that overall, those who have tons of gems are really gonna love this. I don't necessarily think that spending your gems on this event is necessarily wise, but I definitely more than certainly see a place where if you spend enough gems, you will be ahead of a lot of other people due to those two pieces of equipment. If we go take a quick peek at what these equipment pieces are, you can see right here, let's go right there. This one is uh, the pants. It is, I believe, the Eternal Knight. Cavalry defense, infantry defense, and archer defense, 5%. That's an extra 5% defense on whoever commander you choose to do this with. As well as the shoes, infantry defense, and archer health. So are these stats worth it? I don't know, but I definitely know that there's gonna be some people out there that are gonna have these extra stats, which are gonna give them that extra little edge. And if you're looking to be someone like my uh, one of our friends here from JWM Noon, who is a powerhouse, strong player, Pepe, who has some of the best gear available, some of these folks who want to be the top tier leaders of uh, the game, essentially, these folks are definitely gonna fight it out. Da, Noon, Iorlas, Jinbao, and all these folks are really going to fight it out to have these pieces of equipment and not everybody's gonna get them. I believe that if the numbers make any sense, maybe, maybe there will be 10 people total that'll end up getting these blueprint fragments into blueprints. Keep that in mind, gems, for that, is it worth it? I don't know if for the average Joe it is, but I can definitely tell you the big, the big boys and big ladies as well 
are going to be spending massive gems to try to get these pieces of equipment. Personally, I've already given up on it. Unless those prices go down, I don't see myself going for the top tier crazy stuff. But you can see the uh, avatar frame we've been waiting for for so long available for 50,000 coins, which is a decoration. It's still ridiculously expensive. And out of all of this, what really interests me would be really the material chests as well as that avatar. All the rest is kind of unattainable as far as I'm concerned or pretty useless for me personally. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you guys want Lilith to adjust prices, rewards, and all that good stuff, now is the time to let them know before the new Lost Kingdom batches come out. I'm Gecko. I'm out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, found it informative, helpful, or useful, drop a like on the video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the bell for new notifications every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys sooner rather than later. Enjoy the rest of your week and take care. Thank you for all your continuous support. Peace.